Hello, Ramen Nation. Chris Cobrain here, bringing you week five of the National Pokemon Association, aka the NPA. As I'm talking to you right now, it is actually 1:30 in the morning. Um, safe to say, we had some difficulties uh, getting the match set up, um, but life happens. Stuff that gets in the way, completely understandable. It is a little late for me, so if I'm a little quiet today, I want to apologize to you, but. Um, nonetheless, we'll be getting this battle done. So last week, of course, we were able to go up against Joe Dorn, the Seattle Sea Kings. We were able to pull up a narrow victory against him to remain undefeated on the season at 4-0. And this week, uh, the hits just keep on coming. 3-1, and one, uh, we're up against, excuse me, the 3-1 and one Golden State Go-Goats. And their coach, Miss Snow Bunny, of course, her info will be up uh, on the top of the layout. Her Twitch and her uh, Twitter and, of course, her YouTube will be in the link below as well, or the description below. Um, if you haven't checked out my team builder, make sure you do that. That will also be in the description below as well. So you know everything I'm running and why. Also gives you insight on her team and everything else like that. So make sure you do give them all a look if you're real. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to send a quick challenge. And we're going to see if the Blazikins can win another match. Um, not going to lie, <laughs> one thirty, tad bit tired, just a little bit. So... Um, hopefully uh, that doesn't affect my play uh, at all, or if, or if at the least, you know, not a lot. Um, not enough to, like, cause me any problems here, so we'll see what happens. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling somewhat confident, um, not like overly confident or anything, but I'm definitely feeling a little bit confident today. Uh, for this particular match, um, I feel like my team can uh, well handle uh, what we're what we're going up against. Um, Snow Buddy's team is is a little stally at base value, a lot of stall mons, uh, or stallier mons, stuff like Mega Slowbro, Aromatisse, Dusclops, uh, stuff of that nature. Um, very bulky at base value, so uh, and I feel like we have the, the means to to break through that if I play it well enough. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can or not. So of course I've got everything ready here. I've got my pen and my pad of paper uh, moving on here. I'll make a quick note. And just real quick, uh, so we can write some stuff down and uh, we'll get going here. <sighs> Nerves kicking in now. Nerves kicking in. I get nervous every time. It hasn't mattered yet. I played well every match I feel, and we've been able to walk away with victory week after week. Um, but you know, one of these weeks is bound to come crashing down. So let's see what we've got today. No cleric, but a defogger. So we've got we've got Mega Slowbro, of course. I'm just gonna write Mega Bro. Uh, Cloister, which is uh, somewhat surprising to me. But fine, does clump as I fully expected. Uh, clang clang, actually, something I didn't uh, fully expect, but I knew was a possibility. Um, thanks to um, Dancy, oh, we've got Crustle as well, who could be a problem. To Shell Smash, I'm spelling all these names wrong on this note, just so you guys know. And her uh, tier one pick itself zapped us. So we know right off the bat that Dust Clops are going to be EVO. Of course. Nothing else is known yet. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and lead off with this because this was the designated lead for this fight. And uh, and we pray, boys. I spelled everything wrong. Dust Clops with an I somehow. Cling Cling. I spelled it Cling Cling. Fantastic. I missed the L and Crustle. Alright, cool. I did spell Zapdos, Cloyster, and M Dash Bro Raid. Three out of three out of six ain't bad, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm in for a rough one. <laughs> <coughs> but uh we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Nervous. Okay. Here we go, boys. So we're starting off with Get Over Here. Shout out to uh, Mortal Kombat, Drapion. And she's leading off with Zapdos, actually. 
starts directly off with Zapdos. Not, not something I expected. Somewhat concerning. Um, I don't want to stay in and take a hit here. Like at all. Part of me wants to like knock off and try to start the damage on this thing. That's super bulky. I could easily go into hammer here. But that could start off kind of badly for me if she reveals something like Hidden Power Ice. Um, as the lead set though, it almost feels offensive with like a bolt switching kind of thing going on here. Um, I could obviously be wrong. Um, but there's no way for me to know right now. Part of me wants to like switch into Garchomp. Part of me wants to switch into Verizion. Part of me wants to just stay in and click knock off and see what happens. But if she ends up being like Specs or something to that effect, I could put myself in a lot of trouble. We're gonna make a little bit of a risky play here and switch into Hammer. This might this might be somewhat risky. Oh, please don't click Hidden Power Ice. I'll be upset if you click in Power Ice on me. No, she collected for Discharge. Fan friggity tastic. Okay. Alright, not a bad start. Not a bad start. So, uh, is a Discharge set. We do see that coming through. So, my play here is to click Substitute. Um. My play here is to click Substitute and see what happens. Um, if she reveals Hidden Power Ice, then at least we can scout it without taking too much damage. Um, she may just switch. Of course, if she's choice, she has to, but there's no guarantee she's choice right now. Especially with Discharge, that would seem kind of odd. Um, especially as a spec set, you'd be going for damage, not status. Though, you could still go for it to try to press around status. Fair play in general. Okay, okay, so my play here is literally, I don't have another thing to do here. We're just going to go ahead and click sub. And, uh, yeah. She does not switch concerning. Oh, she's got it too. Shit. She's offensive. She's 100% offensive. I wonder if it would die. Hmm. So we have some plays here. Um, we can go into Jirachi. Uh, take the hidden power. We can go into Artemis who would take it just fine. Rocks up, she might not have to fall. <sighs> I was really hoping she wouldn't have that. Interesting, we don't see Life Orb or anything though. She's not Choice, she's not Life Orb, could possibly be Expert Belt. Does feel like an offensive set here, um, but there's no way to know that. Completely could just have that for, for Garchomp and uh, Gligar, that's obviously fair. Hinpar Ice is probably coming through again, almost definitely here. I think we're, mm, no, I can't. He has to be alive for Cloyster. No, if, if Jirachi goes down, takes damage, Cloyster's gonna end my phase. I have to keep, I have to keep Jirachi alive for Cloyster, 100%. Have to, have to, have to, have to, have to do that. Just gonna stay in, I think. I don't think one hidden power kills us. And if he's offensive, we'd kill him in two, I believe. I'm gonna go for it. This is a dumb play. I'm gonna go for it though. We did nothing. It's defensive. Shit. We do die. Oh shit. No lefties though. That's that's not good. It's not good at all. Okay. 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 Pull it back. Pull it back. Make a play. All right. That sucks a lot. That sucks a whole hell of a lot. I should have just switched. That misplayed there. Hmm. Alright, we're just gonna go on Artemis here.
We're just gonna try to kill here. That's the plan. We're just gonna go for the kill right now. I didn't need Garchomp in the rest for the whole match in, in general. So it's it's not that huge a deal. Honestly, I can still handle it. She probably sees what's coming here. Not that I really care. Hmm. I don't be risky. Uh, she's run drill pick in the. Uh, excuse me, I'm being a little quiet. Uh, she's run drill pick in the past. Um, so I don't want to risk that and die because that would be absolutely horrible. So we have to click Stone Edge here and just hope she stays in and hope it hits, really. Um, she has to see the Stone Edge coming. Um, there'd be no other reason we bring this in. Um, she does have switch-ins for it, not ones I truly care about, honestly. It would hit Cloyster hard, Crustle hard. Um, it would do something to Dust Clops. It would, wouldn't do much to Clink Clang, but I could follow up with a CC. I would be faster. So, this is this is the smartest play at this point in time. I feel like it's expert belt. But it's a defensive expert belt. Maybe it's like citrus though. We'll get the hit. And oh what for Defog, however. Maybe predicting rocks? I, I, I don't know. I truly am not aware what just happened, to be totally honest with you. Well, we're in a good, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. This is actually really positive for me. Her Defogger's gonna die, and she's got booty all for Toxic Spikes fam. I'm gonna set it up on like Dust Clops. And we're just gonna move on. Cool. We'll see what happens. I'll meet me. Oh, switches though into Dust Clops. Hmm. Okay. I do nothing. It's gonna Willow. I can switch in Jirachi here, a little risky though. I'm gonna subwoofer as well. I think my plays are gonna subwoofer. Yeah, subwoofer right here. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna set up anything here. We're, we have work up on this set. We're not even gonna set it up. We're just gonna click boom burst on it, and because she'll de she almost definitely switch. We're actually in a decent position though. Yeah, we're in a pretty we're in a pretty solid position actually with that with that uh, Zapdos basically going here. Bro is still gonna be a, a semi issue for me. Kinda, but not like completely. So, there's that. Still don't know the Zapdos though. I'm a little annoyed that it didn't die to that Stone Edge, but thankful, I was like, when I saw the, the not kill, I was like feeling, like my mind went, oh god, here comes Drill Peck, and I was like, well, GG. But Defog, can Verizion learn rocks? You'd think I'd know that. I really don't, actually. I really don't know that. I probably should. Sorry, right, though. Maybe she just. But my only assumption is that she predicted that. Go for Nightshade. Be cool. Be a real person. Go for Nightshade. Right now. Click Nightshade or you're banned. Oh! She clicked Nightshade. Okay, interesting. Um. Should I set up now? Or nah? She'll see the boom burst coming. I mean, honestly, the play here would be to sack off Zapdos. That's legitimately the only reason I'm debating this. And yeah, I think I think I think the play here for her is to sack Zapdos off. 
which is a super big positive for me. So I think my play is legit to just go for Boom Burst. Because this will do, no matter what, this will do solid damage to whatever she brings out anyway. Um, easily. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. Like, if she brings in Clank Clank, she might think I'm Specs and I'll just, I'll just Boom Burst, or I'll Focus Blast it. Hopefully we grab a hit, and that would just be the end of you, of it. Does stay in though, does stay in. And I do, not as much as I would have liked to, but we do get the avoid, which is positive. I'm gonna work up this time. Doesn't really matter. Kind of figured pain split. So we got, we got nightshade. Let me write these down. Night. I'm not writing these down because I keep forgetting nightshade. Pain split. Will okay. I could probably attempt to set up again here. Uh, but again, we're not going to. We're just going to boom burst. Clicks Willow an another time. I could kill it here. Tough boys, this is tough. I'm really, ugh, I'm really upset that I lost Garchomp already. I can't believe I played that badly. She does switch those into a plus one, and she switches into Cling Clang. And Cling Clang gets completely bopped there. So do we do we make a play here to switch or just let it happen? I'm gonna let it happen. I have a plan. I have a plan here. I have a plan that maybe wins me in this game. Some bulk investment, uh, maybe? No, damn, unfortunately. No lefties on this either, so we're gonna go to Jirachi here. I have somewhat of a feeling this is Choice Scarf. Though it could be wrong. Um, we're just gonna click rocks here. If you stay in, that means they're up permanently. If you switch in anything with Zapdos, they're up permanently. I have plans here though. This is this is not a bad position to be in right now. I'm not in the greatest position, that's for sure. But I'm not in a horrible position either. That's four on six though. We're not we're, we're needing a comeback though. <laughs> we're, we're needing a comeback at this point. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy, boy. Guys. I would not want to lose my undefeated streak right here. That's that's for sure. I'm really regretting the play to stay on a Garchomp at this point. I'm okay with, with X-Blood dying the way he did. But I'm really regretting. I wonder if this is Scarfed. Something, something tells me it might be. It'd actually be pretty interesting. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe. Anyway. <sighs> Man, I'm nervous. I'm still nervous though because I haven't like... No, it's not Scarf. We knew that much. It's got T-Wave. Sort of sucks. Oh my god. No, 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 please. Please, please, please. Not like that. Oh god. That's awful. That's awful. That para sucks so much. I can't even explain to you how much that sucks. I really need rocks up here. If I get rocks up, I can win. I legit can win by myself with just Deancey. I set up one calm mind on something, I can win. Uh, she's gonna switch into Dose. No bro, actually. That's actually just fine as long as- No, 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 RNG, please don't do this to me, RNG. Oh god. Okay, 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 more important is toxic right now. She can't get rid of it? Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Rocks up would be so big right now. I can still sweep with the antsy, I can still sweep with the antsy. I can, with rocks, with rocks and only with rocks. I have to have rocks on the field. Dude, I cannot believe I got full parried twice there. Whew, okay. That sucks, man. Truly, truly that very much sucks. This thing could be running Fire Blast as well. So the Mega comes through, of course, because she's not me. She does make the she does make it like she's supposed to. Call mine is okay. I'm not worried about that. Wow, wow, legitimately wow. I don't know what to do now. I'm in so much trouble now. Three straight, guys. Three straight. All of them huge. Hmm. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate. She can just set up Calm Mine on me at this point, and I, I don't know. Calm Mine's again. Fourth time in a row. Wow, I'm gonna lose. My rocks are gonna go away, I can't. Oh. Oh my god! Fifth!
time in a row, dude! Yeah, five. Five times in a row. Five. Thirty percent chance. Five in a row. Wow. What are you gonna do? Finally got it off. Way too late. It doesn't matter anymore. There's absolutely no chance I have. She can stall it out. What am I gonna do? My. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing I can do at this point. If I got this toxic off any quicker, I, c I could be in a good position. Jirachi dies. Mm. And uh, that's that's about it, really. I don't, I don't, I don't see a way out of this. I'm gonna go into Artemis and just hope it doesn't have side shock or something. I don't, I don't know. I think, I think it's pretty much over. I might be getting six out here. Huh? <laughs> what a way to lose on that. This would have been so fine. This would have been so fine. I had so many ways to deal with this if I get toxic off and just let it wear itself down. I just have to, I can't click Swords and Anthem to be retarded. I have to I have to click Leaf Play. And just pray for a crit maybe. Nah, no damage at all. Absolutely nothing. It's got Ice Beam. I might live that, it's not stab. I do in fact live that. And I, th I think it died actually, to be honest with you. But <laughs> well, what does that matter at this point? At least I didn't get six owed. Actually, she could probably six owe me if she wanted to. I mean, look how quick it was. One toxic, man. One toxic. That's all I wanted. Well, Slowbro does die. I don't crit either of them for what that's worth. She'll bring out... Cloyster. She'll click. Ice Shard. And that's, I needed rocks. E even at this point in time, I can still sweep. I want you to know I can still sweep with Dancy if I had rocks up. Easily. One Calm Mind, easily. I set up one Calm Mind on uh, Dusclops and I literally win. Everything dies, but with sashes and stuff, maybe nothing sashed. No, I still got sturdy on Crustle anyway, and Earthquake, of course. At this point, I legit need to break, just break sashes and stuff with Drapion. Just gotta pray that I can do that. If, if Cloyster comes out, Verizion just dies. I mean, RNG is just the, the the way this game goes sometimes, you know? Actually goes into Dust Clops. Um, I mean, I guess that's not all that bad in general. There's nothing I can do. I'm just gonna go ahead and click Leaf Blade. I mean, oh, it's got status now, okay. Cool. 
Pena. All right, boys, here's the play last ditch effort right now. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and taunt this. We're gonna set up two layers of toxic spikes and we're gonna try to sweep with Deancey. That's the point, that's the only hope I have at this point. It's still not, actually not even that far of a stretch to be completely honest with you. I can set up substitute on both the, the potential sturdy users I have that and and just watch and, and just break their sturdy the only thing that would truly scare me at this point in time is, is shell smash cloister that's the sad part I could sweep this with I could have swept her with the antsy with rocks up without even trying <clears throat> That sucks though. That sucks so much. I actually partially see a way out of this. I actually partially see a way out of this if this goes the way I want it to. I do get the taunt off. I don't care what it does. Can't willow. Cool. She'll probably switch now. Do I need spikes up that bad? If I can like knock something off. Not particularly. I think we're actually gonna knock off here. She's gonna switch. No, she's not gonna switch. Please don't die. Shoot! That sucks. She, mm, she didn't switch. Man, I thought she'd switch. Oh, I could have set up. Okay, 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 okay. It's not that big a deal yet. Calm down. It's fine. Still all right. We're still okay, kind of. Should have set up spikes. There. I should have set up spikes right there and just let it happen. So I mean, right now, all we're doing is not getting 6 0 we're just at nothing else helping our kill differential, so that's good. It's not a disadvantage, per se. Uh, there's still a partial way out of this. I just need it to go almost perfectly, really. She knows I have taunt. She goes into Crustle. My assumption would be he's about to earthquake me. We're gonna click knockoff because it shouldn't be clicking cell smash here. If it does, I lose. But that wouldn't make any sense. She knows I have taunt. I just already already used it, and I, this thing is a is a famous hazard stacker and shell smasher. So it wouldn't make a ton of sense to click anything but earthquake here. I, I guess I could I could be wrong. But I have to take some risk here. I need to knock it off, and I need to set up spikes. At least one layer. One layer's fine. One layer will do the job I needed to. Legitimately. Yeah. Yeah, one layer will be fine if I can get one layer up. In fact, I won't hit everything left on her team if I beat, if I beat this. Huh. 
We'll see what happens. We'll see. I don't want to get ahead of myself. We'll see what happens. I'm quiet though. I'm quiet in this video. I'm sorry guys. Part of it's tired. Part of it's five straight paralysis when, when rocks would have ended this entire situation by itself. Literally by itself. So she stays in as I knock off. I do nothing. She's cussed at. She clicked X is her. How much is that? That doesn't do too much. She doesn't have earthquake. We're going to taunt this turn 100%. We're taunting 100% right now. No earthquake means taunt. I still have my berry intact. If we can get her to like click shell smash here, or our hazards, or anything, I guess there's still a problem with the fact that I don't protect on Deancey and I need to outspeed something. The crystal's not that fast. Cussed up though. I wonder if it has explosion. Can it learn that? I don't even know. Research board. Oh, he doesn't have Earthquake, though. Hmm. Hmm. One layer of spikes, and I might win. I legitimately might win this. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I legit might pull this back. I, everything left. If Crustle dies, Deancey wins. Cloyster gets one shot after the, the toxic damage. She went for counter. <gasps> she went for counter. No damage. No damage that turn. Okay. Toxic Spike's coming up now. Except the problem is I can't kill this. This has to survive. That's the main... That's the one thing. I cannot kill this with Drapion. We're going to do enough damage to guarantee Moonblast ends it. We're gonna set up a layer, two layers of toxic spikes, and we're gonna have this thing kill me. I'm gonna taunt it forever. It's not gonna kill me. I refuse to let it. I mean, I'm not gonna kill it. I refuse. I'm, 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 I'm probably sipping on thing there. Tox spikes up. X scissor again. That's totally fine. We'll see if the taunt wears off. I don't care. Taunt does not wear off. We will set up another. Should I? Do I care? Do I need him? No. No, no, I just need to break the sash on Cloyster at all. Yes. Okay, so we're not. We're just gonna like knock off now a couple of times until we die. Because I don't want her, the Tana without the second layer of spikes would be really bad because if she switched into Dose, it would get you free switching. This way, if she does switch into Dose, it will at least die. But those spikes mean the sash on Cloyster. My the preference here is that she just kills me. That's that's the preference. And if that happens, I set up sub on Cloyster. It goes for whatever it does. Oh, the the <clears throat> Cloyster is like icicle spear shit. It would break through my sub. I wonder how much Cloyster would do to me without being boosted to a Mega DNT. Let's see. I mean, it's not, not that I can do much about it, but let's see. Uh, janitor, whatever. It does go for X Scissor again. Taunt does wear off. We're going to taunt it again. I really doubt it doesn't do anything. I really doubt it, it does anything here, but X Scissor would still. Versus Mega Deancey. Icicle Spear does five hits and only does 76% maximum. Unboosted. Let me see. Let me check Adamant here just in case, but that shouldn't change anything that bad. I actually change them all 50 as well because they're not. Because, you know, 100 and stuff. I can't allow it to set up Shell Smash. I, I don't think it has it, but I don't really care at this point. Yeah, Adamant does maximum 88, which is a lot, but it would die to the poison. So yeah, I'm not going to click sub on him. No way, we're just going to attack him. Huh. 
Hopefully Mega Dancy just picks up the kill on Crustle here. The only thing is, would Crustle outspeed me? And the answer to that is almost definitely no. No, no, we're max. No, literally can't. Cool, max. We're max speed. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. So as long as we kill it, if we can get it to, like, not kill me for some reason here. If we can get it to. Oh! Into what? Into Kling Kling. <clears throat> Oh my. That would be faster than me. This is faster than me. If it's speed invested, it's faster. She might have got me there. I think she got me right there. Yeah, I think she got me right there. Good play. Good play, though. Mm, I should just click knock off again. But I was still scared of Shell Smash. Maybe I shouldn't have been. has to outspeed the ants, you know, which it will. I don't have protect. Oh, we needed protect. If I put protect on it, I literally win. Actually, maybe she'll predict. Pro okay, okay, one last chance. If she predicts protects and clicks uh, shift gear, I win. L literally. That's the, that's it. That's all I need. She's she's probably watched all my matches. I've won protect on all of them so far. That's what I need her to do. Or miss. Why not? I mean, let's be real. That wouldn't be that far of a stretch. Pray to Lord. Here we go, boys. For the game. I'm just praying at this point. I'm just sitting here praying. The protect, the protect would be so easy here, and I'd be faster, and she knows that. Please, please either miss or click shift gear. Don't gear grind me. Don't gear grind me. She gear grinded. She hit it. Frick, GG. It's over, boys. Damn. Well, there it goes. <laughs> uh, even if I had protect, I don't think I would have clicked it. Damn. Well, that sucks. Uh, RNG, I guess, right? I mean, it's part of the game. It's what happens. It's how the game goes sometimes. I think Rocks won me that game. I think Rocks would win me that game by itself. But I got nothing there. The five straight paralysis. Did I even say what I meant to? Five straight paralysis. What are you gonna do there, man? In general, this loss doesn't mean a whole lot. It's still fine. We still have plenty of opportunities to win. Uh, so I, I, that's okay. I am a little disappointed. Disappointed that the the loss happened at all. But I mean, going undefeated probably a little unrealistic. I would have liked to continue going more than I did. But uh, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. So good game to Snow Bunny. Well played. I made a I just still made a couple of misplays, especially losing Chomp as early as I did. Uh, that was that was not a good play on my part, and I'm probably gonna get yelled at for it by Reiki, most likely. So, <sighs> well, that sucks. Um, that's it for me though, guys. Thank you for watching week five. Uh, I appreciate it. Tom uh, next week, of course, we uh, week six. Um, we'll try to get back on the winning streak. I think we take on. Key Darkness Dragon, I believe. I could be mistaken there, but I think so. I believe the Los Angeles Cleffies. Um, so we'll, we'll try to get a winning streak going again off of that. We'll see what happens. And uh, I hope you guys still support me even though I suck, alright? Uh, I'm out. I'll be back for week six, guys. I hope to see you guys there for that, of course, uh, as we can try to right the path that week. So uh, that's it for me, guys. So peace, Ramination. See you guys week six, alright? See ya.